coming up. <laughs> well, good morning, folks. Uh, we're on the move, and uh, when we last left you, we were at Bunsworth Basin, weren't we, dear? Yes, we were. We've moved now onto the Macclesfield Canal at long last. Yeah, we made the turn at the Marple Junction, yeah. and now we are heading down the Macclesfield towards Higher Point today. Point. I keep wanting to say New Mills. We've been through there. No, it's Higher Been Pointon. there, done that. It's Higher Pointon we're doing today. So. Uh, and there's a waspy-like thing that's just landed. Thing. Yeah, that's it. Gone now. So, Come on in. the plan now is to go down the Macclesfield uh, and then back round onto the Clan Gotham for yes. winter. So, but we're going to spend a few weeks on the Macclesfield first. Uh, of which we are now starting that trip, so hope you uh, yeah. in, enjoy. We were hoping to catch Holly and the cafe boat uh, for Bonnington, yeah, but they're closed for September, which is a shame. Yeah, they've, um, they're doing, doing some refurb. alterations <laughs> and refurb on the Holly, yeah. and uh, they're closed for the whole of September. And it's frustrating because we are literally just a day's trip yeah. from them. Excuse me while we go under a bridge. And they're quite tight under the bridges <laughs> too. Um, yeah, so we, we're going to miss them, I think. But yeah. hopefully if they're on board zero... We'll go and see them. We'll go and uh, see them. We'll stop at Bollington and, uh, for diesel anyway and whatnot. So hopefully we'll catch up with them. But for now, enjoy today's cruise. This week's vlog has us located near Marple Junction between the Peak Forest and the Macclesfield Canals. Since we left you in Bugsworth, we've been steadily making our way down the Peak Forest Canal and this vlog has a starting at Bridge 25 on the Peak Forest and continuing on to Marple Junction where we turn on to the Macclesfield. We try to moor up in Marple but have no success so end up mooring up at Bridge 5 on the Macclesfield. After a couple of nights there we continued our journey along the Macclesfield to Higher Poynton. After making the turn at Marple Junction we stopped briefly to fill up with water and Tony and Jam went on ahead to search for a mooring. To our dismay as we continued along we found all the mooring spots in Marple were taken and we were finding it really difficult to find a spot big enough for Amy Jo to fit. No, it's a bit tight, isn't it? <laughs> At the end of the moorings is a narrows, and beyond that, there looked like good mooring spaces. We did wonder why nobody was moored there until we tried to get in and Amy Jo ran aground on some rocks under the surface and we just could not get her in close enough to the bank. We had no choice but to carry on a little bit further and we found some moorings on the left hand side and a nice piece of armco on the towpath side. But once again, trying to moor up, Amy Dro was running aground with her stern out in the middle of the channel. So yet again, we had no choice but to carry on. The area opposite Goet Mill was obviously not a mooring spot because you can see all the rubble lail at the side. So we carried on past Goet Mill. Well, we made the turn at Marple Junction and unfortunately we can't get moored up in Marple. It's wall-to-wall -wall boats and some of them were still there when we first went past two weeks ago. So obviously lots of overstaying going on in Marple. So we are now by Goit Mill and I think we're going to end up mooring up near uh, Higher Point, which is further down. After the next bridge, we thought we'd found a mooring spot. We could see a boat up ahead moored and thought, fantastic. But, once again, bringing Amy Jo into the bank, we ran aground 
and weren't close enough to the ship to the towpath. So once again, we had to push off and keep going. Well, after several attempts of trying to moor up here outside Marvel, we've given up and we're uh, resigned to the fact that we're going to have to go on to um, Higher Pointon and hopefully get a moor in there. But if it's as busy as Marple, then I don't know where we're going to walk because we can't get into the bank because it's all silted up and you can't get anywhere near to get on and off the boat. So, what are we going to do? We'll see. We just have to keep trying. It just depends how much it's silted up. Eventually, we found a boat moored up on some Armco and decided to give it a go. We eased Amy Jo into the bank slowly. Chris jumped off of pulling the bow in and at last we got in, only just, with the back end of the boat two feet out from the bank. But we were in and we were moored. Well we've managed to get moored up just south of Bridge 5 on the outskirts of Marple. Marple town itself is about a mile and a half that away. But it's a nice little spot. It's quite uh, open, so any solar we can have will be grateful. But the only drawback is, even though we're on Armco, that's as close as we can get. Next morning, we decided we'd go for a walk with Smudge and walked up into the village of Hawk Green. It's where Goyt Mill is located, which we visited later. I'd forgotten how hilly it is round here. Goit Mill is a historical textile mill located in the Peak District region of England, specifically near the village of New Mills in Derbyshire. It dates back to the 18th century and was primarily used for cotton spinning. The mill showcases the agricultural style typical of the Industrial Revolution. Well, it's taking a bit of working out on how to get in here, but there's all different signs for different businesses pointing this way. So we're assuming this is the way in. It's a bit of a labyrinth. We're really not sure which way we're supposed to be going here. But uh, we walked one way and now we're coming back the other way. We think the red doors might be where the stairs are. Wake up with the sunrise, the water's calm and still. Gentle ripples whisper secrets, the morning's quiet thrill. Coffee brews, the engine hums, we're ready for the day. With every turn of the canal, we drift our cares away. Life aboard any Joe, where the world feels right. Cruising through the countryside, beneath the sun so bright. With every bridge we pass, and every lock we share. There's magic in the journey, in the moments that we dare. of golden daffodils they dance along the shore the laughter of the children as they play and explore we wave to passing strangers sharing smiles so bright in this narrow boat of dreams everything feels like life aboard in each oh where the world feels right Cruising through the countryside beneath the sun so bright With every bridge we pass and every lock we share There's magic in the journey in the moments that we dare Floating home we 
We're currently moored now at Higher Pointon, although we've only stopped on the water point for now, but just through the bridge hole there is Lord Vernon's Wharf, which is where Braid Bar boats have their headquarters and where they make uh, their boats. And just here is the water point, which pressure's not brilliant, but it works. So we're rafted up alongside so we don't take up too much space. Hopefully boats can get through there. We'll, we'll see. Well, the one who's in, he needs to go somewhere. Oh, he's rubbing. It's yeah, it is Alton. It is Alton, yeah. <coughs> 106. I was going to say, how can you read that sign on the side? <laughs> we'll do everything for you. Well, the moorings in higher penning uh, in uh, the moorings in higher point and even <laughs> were quite busy but as we've come out of the village we've found this lovely spot just past the winding hole and uh, it's quite pleasant here although we are rafted up alongside tony and jam which we quite like actually because we can chat and eat to each other and the girls can sit out the front there and put the worlds to right but just look at that view in the background there imagine waking up to that every morning eh so this is us now until Monday and it's Saturday today so uh, we'll see how we get on here I think I'll get everybody in I don't yeah know. I mean I so this is a five that. second rule game yeah <laughs> after a couple of wines Tony's just absolutely ruined it yeah, right. so yeah, are you ready I'm gonna ruin it <laughs> now okay, okay. Five second rule, name three churches or cathedrals. Ely, Nottingham and Lincoln. Oh, yeah. well done. Is yeah. there a Nottingham one? Nottingham. Well, there's a church in church Nottingham. Church in Nottingham. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you move get one. to move. Move one. Oh, I'm black, aren't I? Yes, Where am I are. going? Here, two. Oh, good God. I, my glasses aren't even working. <laughs> don't forget your... Yeah, no, 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 it's there. Oh, God, it's my turn. Right. right. Yeah, it's your turn, Steve. Come. Steve, name three girls' names beginning with the letter L. Linda, Lucinda, and a uh, little uh, uh, Lana. Yay! Yay! <laughs> with the back, that's it. 
Yeah, uh -huh. right. What, what colour are you? Um, green. Ta. What's that? That's the Lily's pet. <laughs> oh, right. Let's go for it. You've got to it's do that as to well. Do with the game. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Bye, Chris. <laughs> Name three brands of mobile phone. Nokia, Apple, Samsung. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you need a drink. <laughs> You, this this, this game down. I bought at a charity <laughs> shop and it's absolutely brand new and it was £2.50, Chris. Yeah. £2.50 is going is. to my daughter eventually. It's great fun. Now, <laughs> um, Name three Asian countries. Oh my God. <laughs> India. Uh, burr. <laughs> burr. Oh. You've got to ask the same questions the same. <laughs> Is, is that it, that one? Yeah, but well, it's the same question. You it's the same question. I think he's. I'll put it at the back. Wake up with the sunrise, the water's calm and still. Gentle ripples whisper secrets, the morning's quiet thrill. Coffee brews, the engine hums, we're ready for the day. With every turn of the canal, we drift our cares away. Life aboard any Joe where the world feels right Cruising through the countryside beneath the sun so bright With every bridge we pass and every lock we share There's magic in the journey in the moments that we dare Fields of golden daffodils, they dance along the shore The laughter of the children as they play and explore We wave to passing strangers, sharing smiles so bright In this narrow boat of dreams, everything feels like Life aboard in me, Joe, where the world feels right Cruising through the countryside beneath the sun so bright With every bridge we pass and every lock we share There's magic in the journey in the moments that we dare Through rain and shine we find our way with nature's eyes Joe. Life aboard and meet Joe.